Well, hello again, students, and welcome to another lesson using www.freesketchup.com. And to start this lesson, I wanted to point out it's free. So you just type in free SketchUp in the Google browser and then click the first link and then start modeling. Now, before you get started, what I'm going to try to do with you is show you how to capture a checkerboard or a chessboard graphic. And so the way I do it is in the browser, create a new tab and just search like chess board free graphic. Let's see what happens. Images. And <clears throat> just looking for maybe you can pick let's see what this one is this is vector stock let's see what it comes up wow it, so it's allowing me to download but rather than download i'm going to use this snippet tool so i go to the bottom left snipping tool see i started to type in the bottom left snipping tool click and then click new for snipping tool. And then I'm going to just grab the corner here and snip very accurate to the best of my ability. A checkerboard. Now I'm going to click file, save as, and there's another one I made. This is called buck and white checkerboard test board and save now that's in my downloads folder i can move on and create my chessboard in sketchup so to begin create new and as we've been doing before use the i model info you want to change the format to decimals with the precision as it is and the snap interval as it is, and then move to the scenes tab. Don't forget to click parallel projection, front view, select Mr. Six Foot Three and hit delete. On the bottom left, you'll see the pan tool. It looks like a little hand. Press your left mouse button and bring your origin down and to the left. I'm going to zoom in, zoom, 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 pushing my meal. I push the mouse wheel towards me and the X and Y axis is come closer and closer to me. Now I'm going to do the front of the chessboard, which is really kind of like a side view. So I'm going to click rectangle and then from this origin, click and just drag it to the right and up and then type in my numbers. It's going to be 16 comma one enter. Okay. Now I am also going to <clears throat> orbit and push it 16 inches. So I click the orbit, the push pull tool, click, push. And as I'm pushing, just take my hands off the mouse, type 16 on the keyboard and then enter. Now I have a 16 by 16 chess board and I'm going to look at it from top view. As you can see, it looks square. That means eight squares times two inches for each square. Next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to go to these three lines in the upper left and I'm going to select import from my device and look into my downloads folder and find I'm going to go with green myself. I'm going to go with green. Well, actually you can use either one if you have one and then click open and then click image. And I actually like to place it off to the side here. Oops. And then <clears throat> actually, since I've clicked once, and I start to pull and then I look down there at the width in the bottom right and I see 18, but I just want to take my hands off the mouse and type 16, enter. And there I have a 16 by 16 graphic. And then <clears throat> what I need to do is look at it again from front view and make sure that your graphic does not touch your 3D model because that way you can use this marquee to select this thin sheet that is your decal. And I'm gonna use then 
once it's you can see in my front view profile there's a little line here that's my decal for the checkerboard painting and i'm going to select the move tool click and move it up and to the left or right that is i want it to be on top of and if you've done it right you can orbit and see that your your graphic is not touching you don't want your graphic to be touching the, the top of the piece of wood which will become your chessboard so again look at it from top view use the move tool and see if you can get to snap the corner of your graphic right to the corner of this origin and there i've done it let's orbit again and right click on your graphic this is very important right click on your graphic and explode then go to the paint bucket click the eyedropper sample the detail the decal and then project it onto your 3d block of wood and then hit the delete key or the backspace key to remove that graphic and now you have a nice chessboard and mine happens to be green and white you can use black and white you could find one that's red and white pick your favorite two color combination but be thinking your chess pieces what color do you want your chess pieces to be and in this case now save in your sketchup folder call it chess board it's a chess board and save here now you've saved the 3d model i feel like you could put it in go to the scenes tab put it back in perspective view don't get panicked if it gets too small zoom in on it and at this point you go up to these three lines download png export as png and when it goes to your down left corner that means it went into your downloads folder so in my case i'm going to return to the downloads folder and that's the image that you'll want to turn in for assignment credit good luck